Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this abstract pattern in Photoshop using the brush tool. Let's go ahead and create a new file. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then I'm going to have my background contents. I'm going to change it to white, and then I'm going to go ahead and click create. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the brush tool. So in your tools panel here, you can right click and you want to access the brush tool. And then I'm going to come up to here to the uh, top panel here and then hit the drop down menu. For this, I'm going to use the soft round brush under the general brushes. And then I'm just going to bring up the hardness here a little bit. Let's go about 49%. And then you can always play with the size of your brush. So we can just see what that looks like there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and undo that command or control Z. So with this technique, we are going to change the mode, right? Currently it's set on normal. In this case, we are going to change it to difference. And then I'm just going to double click to turn off this lock on my layer here. And then I want to change, uh, currently I have it set to default where the black is the foreground color and white is the background color. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to where I have white as my foreground color. And then I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit. And in order to make this seamless, we are gonna go ahead and turn on our pattern preview mode. So I'm gonna go to view, pattern, preview. And then I'm going to start drawing. And so we have this black. And then what this difference mode does here for your brush is if you draw over it, it will um, affect your colors. It takes the color that you already have and applies that difference mode. So if we just continue to draw on our canvas here, and then each time if you just kind of click and let go, it will help um, create this effect. And then you can just keep doing that until you get a, um, a pattern that you like. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. So Command or Control with the minus key, just to kind of see how it's looking um, at a larger scale here. And then you can just kind of keep doing it until you get the effect that you want with your pattern. And so I'm pretty happy with that one there. So to save this as a pattern, when you have the pattern preview mode, you can always click this plus icon in your patterns panel. If you do not see your patterns panel, you can go to window and select patterns here. So I'm just going to hit that plus icon and then you can give your pattern a name and then you can see uh, the new swatch here in your patterns panel. And then we'll, let's go ahead and turn off our pattern preview mode. So we'll go to view, turn off the pattern preview. And here we have a, the swatch of our pattern. So I'm gonna zoom back in, just hitting that command or control with the plus key. Let's go ahead and create a pattern layer here. Clicking on okay, we can turn off this back layer. With our pattern fill layer, let's go ahead and select our newly created pattern. And then with the pattern fill layer, you can always double click, uh, scale it down if you want to make it smaller. You can do that as well. I will just go ahead and leave it at 100% here and click OK. Uh, next, let's go ahead and try a couple options of how we can adjust the color on this pattern. So, so I'm going to go ahead to the adjustment layers here in my layers panel, and I'm going to select hue saturation from the menu, and this will create a hue saturation adjustment layer here in my layers panel. And then looking at here under properties, if I change the slider here, Currently, nothing happens right now. Um, in order to have it change the color, you'll need to hit this colorize button, and then as you change it, it will adjust the color of the pattern here. So maybe we go with this green one here, and then you can always adjust the saturation if you wanna bring up the saturation, bring it down, you can kind of play with that. And then you can also adjust the lightness if you want it to be lighter or a little bit darker. Uh, you can do that as well. So let's go about right there. 
So hue saturation is a nice uh, way to um, change the color of your uh, pattern here. So let's go ahead and turn off that layer. And then let's try another way. You can also select color balance from the adjustment layers here. With color balance, there are three different levels you can adjust. You have your highlights, midtones, and shadows. So let's go ahead and select shadows first. And then you can just hit the, the um, arrow here to kind of change uh, the colors of your shadow. See if you want a different, more yellow or more blue. And then let's try midtones here. So say we bring up our red, make it a little bit more cyan and you just can kind of play with the color so let's try a little more purple on this one we'll bring up the blue here for our midtones and let's try our highlights here as well so you can adjust the again the cyan level or the red we'll kind of leave that one And then it, you can just play with the different colors here. So let's bring, let's go a little bit more magenta so we can get more of an overall purple um, feel to this pattern. So that's another way, um, color balance, that you can adjust your pattern here. So let's go ahead and turn that one off and let's try another adjustment layer. Another one is the curves. And so uh, with the curves here, you can hit the drop down arrow and you can adjust the um, RGB channel, red, green, and blue separately. So if we wanted to adjust the red, you can just clicking on the curve here, you can manipulate the color um, depending on where you are at in the curve. So, so maybe we do a little bit more red with this one. And then we can try our green curve here. Uh, same thing with the green is you can adjust how it looks on the curve. So if we go down a little bit here, we get a little bit more pink, which looks cool. And then you can also do that with the blue um, level as well if you want to change that there as well. So let's go ahead and keep it at this kind of pink color here. And so uh, that is one option there as well. So. We've done hue saturation and color balance curves. Another option here is if you go all the way down to the bottom and go ahead and click on gradient map. And so here under the properties here, you can double click here and it will bring up the gradient editor. Here is our current um, gradient map where we have our highlights over here and we have our shadows on this side. And so if you want to change um, the color, you click on the icon here and you can uh, select the color. Um, we haven't done a green yet, so let's move this to the side so we can see it a little bit. So we can select a green and then you can do the same thing. I will go ahead and click on OK there. And then you can select this side. Currently it's set to black. Um, we'll go back to our green if you want it a little bit different um, even if you changed it lighter to where the shadows are lighter um, you can do that as well so let's go back to darker version here and then just clicking on OK so currently we have our pattern here and then if you wanted to add an additional color you can just click on the um, on the line here and select the color. So say we pick an entirely different color, you can introduce a new color. Maybe we go with a little bit, just try out different colors here. Maybe we go with the yellow. And then we'll click on OK there. And then let's drop another one here. We'll select this. And you can just play around with the colors there, having a, um, a different range of colors. And then Photoshop also has some presets here, so you can pick from some of the presets. So maybe we pick one of these purple ones. We'll try a pink one here, that looks cool. So you have um, th that option as well to um, change your uh, color of your pattern. 
And then if you find that you have a new color version that you want to save as a pattern in Photoshop, um, currently we can't see that plus icon. So let's just get back to our move tool and we'll select off that gradient map. And then we can hit our plus icon to save our new pattern here. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun abstract pattern using the brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.